to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Monday, October 23rd of 2023. The Dominican Liberation Party yesterday officially proclaimed Abel Martinez as its presidential candidate, who after being sworn in by former President Danilo Medina warned that he does not respond to elites or dishonest structures. The Civic Renovator Party yesterday proclaimed President Luis Abinader as its presidential candidate with a view to the 2024 presidential elections. While unanimously amidst applause, former President Leonor Fernandez was proclaimed as the presidential candidate of the Social Democratic Institutional Bloc. More than 3,000 patients with suspended dengue have been hospitalized in the 16 health centers that have the most demand during the current epidemic affecting the country, of which nine have has hospitalized more than 100 patients with alarm signs for the disease. A heroine, this is how Hilary Dominguez Peña feels after winning the battle against severe dengue, which left her absent from her family and friends for 14 days at the Vinicio Calvente Hospital, where eight were in the intensive care unit. The lack of food products in Haiti due to the fact that the authorities maintain their close border with the Dominican Republic has caused Haitians to traffic food to their native country to bring food to their homes as well as to market it. The total public debt of the non-financial sector in the first eight months of this year increased $2,690.8 million in December of 2022 to $54,545 with $30 million in August of this year. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listing Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.